Greetings everybody, oh, kind of Games Online. Welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we took on the Dodongo's Cavern and had quite a bit of trouble with it. A little concerning how much trouble we were having with just Dodongo's Cavern. In this episode, it's time for the Jabu Jabu's Belly. Hit me, you stupid Octorok. There we go. Jabu Jabu's Belly has quite possibly some of the dumbest puzzle solutions I think I have ever seen in any Zelda game. First, we have a boulder here. Oh, thanks. This is the first time picking up a magic jar. Reveals a switch. you think that would open the door back there. Nope. It just makes this treasure chest appear. So the game is already messing with us. But at least we have the dungeon map now. You look all around, you try killing all the enemies. I can demonstrate. There we go. You kill all the enemies, that doesn't work either. You see some grass, you try cutting it, you try everything you can think of. But then you notice there's some cows on the wall. Now, I don't know how they expect you to think this. But hitting the cows does do something. I mean, I guess you can lock on them, which makes you think they're important. What does Navi even say? Is that? Okay. So that might be your hint. But yeah, that's how you open the door. It is a dick move, and I like it. Because it's such an ass move. It's so brilliant for that reason. We have these things. And another cow. Get used to shooting cows, by the way. No, it's a it's a great lights lifestyle. I reveal there's a chest we can't get to, and these jellyfish can't die to my things. God dang it! I'm forced to be locked on. Oh well, I guess I had to jump down here anyway. Guess it's not a huge deal. Or maybe this is a church chest we just revealed. It might be. <clears throat> yeah, I'm still partially sick. Continuation of Dodongo's Cavern. I'm not as sick today. So at least there's that. But I'm still somewhat sick. Which is fan tastic <clears throat> And just like past dungeons, I can say with certainty we are not going to be able to get all the gold skull toys our first visit. Because I remember one specifically. <clears throat> Excuse me. God. Throat does not want to work today. At least we have the compass now. And, yep, that allows us to go through that door. That's one less mystery we need to worry about. And I missed the elevator, of course. Alright. Let's hopefully not get killed by stingrays. Sounds like a good lifestyle. Alright, elevator. You want to get back down here? Someday? There you are. <clears throat> God. I'm partially wondering why I'm deciding to record while I'm still sick, but I don't have all the time in the world to record, so that would probably be why. Okay, just to make sure I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. Had to make sure of that, because I have made this mistake in the past. This room looks familiar now, does it? Blah, 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 we've seen this before. Your Ruto, your father asked us to come here. Never asked anyone, let her in bottle. Blah, 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 we've heard this before. She falls down. And then we go after her. First, let's look around. 
It's a bomb. There's a rock on the wall, so presumably we need some bomb chew for that. So let's see what else is here. There's a patch of grass if you want to restock on ammunition. What about this one? This one is also a patch of grass. Okay. And there's one of those strange jelly walls over there, which we can't do anything about yet until we have the boomerang. Now, let's see if I remember this correctly. Well, first, let's kill you, even though I have to take some damage in the process. So we have cows. We have those things. There's a switch there. I think what we're supposed to do first is hit that switch. And stay in place. I did not remember that happening. Alright. But I think, because we can see that area is barricaded. Where's this one? Oh, actually, I think I know what we're supposed to do. Still hanging around here. More text that we've already seen. Wish I could skip it, but I can't. Electrified jellyfish and strange holes around. Your precious stone. That's none of our business. Go home now. Talk to you again. That worried. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give you the honor of carrying me. Or I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. Alright. So you remember how we use her as dead weight? I'm pretty sure that still holds true here. See that switch? It's a blue switch, so it needs weight on it at all times. So guess what, Ryo? You have the honors of being dead weight even earlier in this one. <clears throat> but we have to take the geyser back up because if we just climb out, I don't think she's going to be on the switch anymore. Because she's going to be like, oh, I'm too good for this switch. So now we can go through here. And here we have. Nah. Or let's just lose all those. I thought there was a Dino Force in here somewhere. I remember there was specifically being a Dino Force. I remember one specific enemy that's in here that I'm not looking forward to seeing again. Um. Well, I guess there is no Dino Force. But this room. If I can position my camera correctly. You saw a part of that enemy. You might also be able to hear him. First, let's grab this treasure chest. Yep, it's our good friend, the like like. Back again to cause us more hell. And we don't even have the bo the luxury of the boomerang yet, so we're gonna be bombing him. I don't want to worry about being eaten by. A stupid slug. Always kill them from a distance. That's my rule of thumb. And again, I hate like likes. Just like just about everyone else. I mean, where do you think the I do not like like likes joke came from? Well, technically that was made in Minish Cap. Like a buck or something. Okay, that's interesting. I think that's where we get the boomerang. You know what? You would come up. I believe that is a chest that we can always spawn by killing all the enemies. Excuse me. Can you just die? Thank you. Yep, sure enough. Treasure chest. Yeah, 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 I get it. I gotta go over here onto the vines before the water lowers again. Alright. <clears throat> well, we've already gotten the map and the compass, so I wonder what this could be. Unsurprisingly, it's the boomerang. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's equip that right away. Where's my boomerang? There's my boomerang. 
All right, now to raise the water again. Because <sighs> I think now we have access to most of what we need. Uh, well, we can go through here. Is this? Yep. This place look familiar? Well, we have to do more waiting. Great. Also, I know I haven't found any gold skull toys yet, but I'm not going to worry about it since we have to come back here later. You already saw the time block. You can probably guess what's behind there. Alright. Back up here. Those things, goodbye. <clears throat> Alright, back in this room. Now, we can head over here. Yay! Except, uh, there's a thing back there. Actually, this might be the trigger for it. We might be able to just throw a bomb up there. Well, if I can hit it. I don't know if I can or not. If I actually do need a bomb tree, I'm going to be kind of upset. Okay, thank God. Oh, it's another cow. And yep, sure enough, that's what you got to do. Stun you again. And we can move on with our life. Alright. Back in this section of the map. We got a bunch of different paths we can go down, but this one seems to be the only by default open one, so let's go here. What? Oh yeah, this room, this room is annoying. Cow, cow. Shoot a cow. Uh, what? Maybe I have to move over here. Um. What the hell? There we go. Yep, it's a like like. Shooting the cow reveals the like like, which is supposed to normally drop down. Don't know why this one felt so special. Oh well, let's kill it. He's like like busted makes me feel good. Except I should probably make a Star Wars joke because it's close to May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. But that's not enough. You can probably guess what's going to happen when we shoot this other cow. He's not going to drop. Awesome. <sighs> Do you want to drop? Okay, this is stupid. There we go. Alright. Time to stab you some more. Have a nice day. And one more boomerang throw should do it. Goodbye. Alright. Door opens, and a treasure chest. Now, here's the important question. What do we do all that for? A Deku stick. Feels like a troll, but the real treasure from all this is we have a lit torch now. Remember there's a cobweb in the other room? Remember I hit my head against the door? I mean, both of, one of the two things there are, are important. Burn the cobweb. And it's our favorite mini-boss. Noom is going to get killed. Oh, come on. Are you really going to be that particular? I remember you being this picky before. 
Either I'm just further away than I think I am. Which is also possible. Get out of here. We don't get any sort of reward for it, but by this point, if we've seen the original dungeon, we should be able to figure out what that's going to do for us. Alright, this room. There's some bombs. Or some rocks that got a bomb. Oh, hey, another Liz Alphos. Good to see you, buddy. Now I'm sorry I have to kill you. Let's bomb these rocks. Guess what? You might be thinking, oh, I need dead weight. Actually, you probably do. I thought the puzzle solution for it was like, oh, you have to uh, move fast enough. But no, you actually do need some dead weight. My mistake. Alright, another one of these guys. Let's kill him a bit. Alright, second one gone. No reward once again. Well, no immediate reward. What's in here? Oh boy. Wow, that was actually really convenient. I like, hit the bubble while the boomer was on its way back. I cannot have timed that better. Okay, come on! This shouldn't be this difficult. There we go. That took way longer than it should have. Bomb that. And as much as I wanted to be a gold skeletal, it's not. There's a rock up there, so that's probably a gold skeletal, but, uh,. That rock we're gonna definitely need bomb two for. Wait, what? Never mind. The game's making a liar out of me. Instead, the solution is to use this son of a gun. <coughs> I'm more curious what we actually get for this. Oh, never mind. It was a gold skeletal token. I just. I really was expecting him to require us to get Bomb Chew. But. Navi, if you be so kind to fly up there. Really? I'm gonna actually have to aim for it. Because you feel like being lazy. Hate you, Navi. Thank you. <coughs> Ugh. I'm okay. I mean, I'm okay enough to be recording. I hope. Well, now we have our dead weight. So, let's use it. And by process of elimination, we should know it's behind this last door. Yep. Last one of these things. Let's kill it. I actually think... One of the uh, these guys is actually optional for being the dungeon in this version. Unlike in the original Ocarina Time where you had to beat all of them. I think one of them just reveals a gold sculpture to us. Which I think it's even a gold sculpture we... I think we could theoretically get it. But it's much, much easier just to work on that later. But we've done everything we need to here. So, let's get out of here. Not like, well, actually, maybe. Oh, no, never mind. I just take a leap and randomly fight, fall down one of the holes. Yeah, one of the uh, things was blocking this path, which now I've blocked myself into. We can see a gold sculpture over there. But this room sucks. It really, really sucks. And I can't kill these guys with my boomerang. Yeah, I don't... I think I have to let him get close to me. Dang it. 
Please let the switch do something useful. Okay, I think that's how we open the door, which is good because this room, we're not gonna be doing stuff with this room yet. Because I remember this room. Oh yeah, that's the solution because we still need to get Rudo there. So I guess even if we went down the right hole, it would die us jack squat. All right. That's good to know. It's funny because this time we're not really carrying Rudo around that much. It's mostly just like leave her in this room. In fact, it's entirely leave her in this room. What does this cow do? Just chest. Not worry about it. it. Probably has like five whole rupees or something in it. Nothing important. And this room looks familiar. Yeah, this room is unchanged. My goodness, I finally found my mother's stone, yeah. All right, yeah, we've seen this all before. Why can't I just skip this text? Take me home. We walk forward. She's gone. And in her place. A giant Octo. Alright. This fight is basically unchanged, but I'll... I'm considering just keeping it in. Just because. Maybe I'll cut it out. Who knows. I mean, I gotta give you guys the full experience, man. Alright. Let's... You. I should have done a jump attack because that does more damage. I think I think about this. Oh, the things I don't think about. I mean, just as long as I don't die. That's a bit important. There, yeah, that's better. Oh, for some reason I thought he was changing directions. That was dumb. Oh, now he's changing directions. Alright. <clears throat> Come on. Well, there he is. Just gotta catch up to him. A bit more. We're close enough. Nope. Now we should be close enough. Really? Really? Where is there even a place for him to burrow in? I guess he burrows into Jabu Jabu himself. It's kind of... That's a bit weird thinking about it like that, but... I guess that makes sense. Oh, come on! Why? Every time! I hate this thing to hell. Every time I think, oh, I'm getting close. Nope. This is the dumbest. Come on, come on. Don't burrow again. Ah, not close enough. Son of a gun. Oh my god! Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Goodbye, goodbye. Oh, this is great. You know what? Just hit me. Yeah, that'll make you turn around. You know what, that might have been 
the more advantageous thing to do. Oh, did I get him? Thank God. Did he drop hearts? Okay, let's go get those hearts. If I don't, I will die. <clears throat> okay. I saw a cow somewhere in here. Yep. That's just the rule of thumb for this dungeon. If you see a cow, shoot it. Oh, hi. Should have known. Speaking of cows to shoot. He does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright. Sorry. Oh, hi. There's a cow. Do we actually shoot? No, that's a proper cow. Liz Alphos decides to join with us. <coughs> oh, God. Okay, you want to get away from that thing? Are you really using it as protection? I guess it's clever. If nothing else. Alright, well, I can see the switch we need dead weight for. Oh, there's the dead weight. I guess hanging the cow did that, and I didn't notice. I mean, it's kind of a strange thing to notice because I walked forward and then shot the cow, so you'd have to turn around. So I guess that's it's also kind of clever. One thing that is certain. We are almost to the end of the dungeon. Is there a skull twin here? Just checking. No, I didn't think so. They would not have put a skull twin somewhere that obvious. We can get this Trish just has been taunting us. That contains a recovery heart. Alright. Last room of the dungeon. You walk forward and... Like legs fall from the ceiling. Alright, I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna respawn them because I really want to avoid getting eaten by one, if at all possible. Okay, let them fall again. Let's try jumping down from here. And taking out this one first. Oh, maybe not. You know what, let's just throw a bomb. Oh, you are getting dangerously close. Alright, let's jump down here. This is going to give us some more wiggle room. Can we kill you now? Nope. The way it's taking, like, no damage. Let's hopefully kill you fast, then. Or not. Like, like, number two wants to interfere a bit. Oh no! That was close. Hate like likes with a passion. Ooh, I hit both of them at once. Get out of here. Okay. Almost had a mini heart attack. God, I hate like likes. And the thing is, I know where they put some of the later ones. And I will more than likely get eaten by those guys. Man, wait till I get to the Spirit Temple. And those who have played Master Quest know which like like I'm talking about, if you care that much. It's in a really jerk place. Oh sure, jump back down. Why not? Shoot the cow. Oh! Give me some sass now, aren't you, cow? <coughs> yeah, I hit the cow three times. Okay, is there a gold skull join here? If there is, I want to take him out now. Because I don't want to be damned with coming back to this room. Having to go through like, like hell. Yep, there's a gold skull join, but guess what? It's in the place where the switch was last time. So, 
we have to be a boomerang master. I am not a boomerang master. There we go. It's one hit. Too low. Alright, about here. There we go. And one more throw to get the skull to a token. Good, I don't have to come back to this room when I have to cover the gold skull choice. I got two of them, which is pretty good. I have, I think, three that you can possibly get. But next time stuff. As in, uh, we're going to be taking on the Forest Temple. But before that, we have to get the rest of the gold skull choice token. So I will see you at where they are. Alright, it's time to do some skull choice hunting. Remember this room? The room where we first met our dear old friend, the Lake Lake. Thankfully, he doesn't respawn, thank God. Well, there was a time block here. So I'd say it's high time, no pun intended, that we get rid of it and claim this gold skull choice token. Now, normally I cut to where the other one is, but it's actually very close by, so I do not see the need to cut. Because the other gold skull choice token, if we go back here, through this room, more accurately, in this room, We were in here once before. Couldn't do anything. You know why? Because this game likes to play dirty. I mean by that is... Or am I just full of it? I, s I swear, if I'm just full of it... Um, game. Game! Oh no, that's just what opens the door. I think we need to kill all the enemies. But... Oh, game! Problem is, a lot of them are also, or at least a few of them, are also invisible, so... <sighs> Fine, I will use my fairy slingshot. Are you happy, game? There goes the keys. Let's kill the stingray next. Actually, I probably don't need the magic. The magical magic. Th Hit the thing! There! No oh, boomerang. Oh, come on! At least we got it. Let's get the other stingray next. All right, I think there's still keys in this room. Yep, we see one here. Are there any more? Nope, that's all of them. Hookshot target appears, which is good, but more importantly, it serves as a platform. Used in fire. And after however long, we can finally get this gold skull choice. We even burn it to death. Even better. But that is the last gold skull choice in this dungeon. As we can see by the icon. So, it's gonna about do it for this episode. Next time on The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. We're gonna be taking on the Forest Temple. So we're going into the adult world now. Except, technically, recordings I've already gone into the adult world. Because I had to get the Lens of Truth. Never mind. See you guys then.